baby. I went up to go hiking with my dog in the Angeles National Forest. We whip around a curve and I look over and there was this huge black thing. He went up the side of like a cliff, kind of ventured into the trees. And I realized it was three dogs. You could see how malnutrition they were. You could really see their ribs. You could count their vertebrae. And they're just gonna drink all the water too. Yeah. We tried to get them in the car and they were not having it because they didn't like people to be around them. So I left some food and I was like, okay, I'll go back tomorrow and try again. Animal control had told us the terrain was not safe. They can't go get the dogs, stop calling. I was feeling helpless and hopeless, really. Now I have this huge responsibility for three lives and I don't know what to do. They were super scared. If you would get too close, they would just run away. That started me going up there every day. I would need to gain their trust with food and then hopefully be able to get them on a leash and into a car. Good boy. My dad actually named them Grace, Steve, and George since they started going up every day, which is kind of cute, for three weeks. We would spend at least two to three hours a day feeding them up there. They started getting used to people. The first time they ate out of my hand, I could have cried. I was so happy. I was like, yay, they trust me, <laughs> like, hooray. <laughs> But then being with three dogs, that posed its own problems. Once you trap one, will you be able to get the second? You definitely won't be able to get the third. We don't want to lose the trust that we've spent three weeks building. We need help. We can't just be out here for months at a time trying to save these dogs. Three rescues had come in. Even though there was like one or two people who failed these dogs, so many more people have come to rescue them. I was like, finally. <laughs> we came up with a plan. We have to build a crazy contraption that can close by remote. George, what you doing? The dogs watched us the whole time, trying to figure out what we were doing. They're all three here. We would leave food in the back of the trap, so we would go in. Got this, let go. We closed the door. They were trapped. And we are good. Yay! 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 <laughs> Who's a pretty princess? It went so smoothly. Once we got them, I basically just kind of cried all the way down the mountain. We are so happy that we have help for this, man. We can't thank you guys enough. That's what we do. You guys are awesome. Oh, you're so beautiful. Now that they're off the mountain, you really see their personalities coming out. They are getting rehab with the rescues. Now they're getting to learn how to be dogs and then how to play. And it's really exciting and it's really lovely. They're thriving. Seeing them safe is epic and amazing. Just come alive. It's so wonderful.